A scary sounding insect is actually helping Minnesota in its battle against one of the worst pests for trees. Emerald ash borers have already invaded millions of trees, but now it could be wasps to the rescue. Fox Knights Gordon Hoggard went into the woods of Chisago County to find out how it all works, and he's joining us live tonight. So, Corin, let's start with what the problem is for these trees. This among there are about a billion of these ash trees throughout Minnesota, one of the most common trees in the state. Uh, but in 2009, the emerald ash borer arrived. It's an invasive species, came over from Asia, first noticed in St. Paul, but at this point, it's been found in 58 of Minnesota's 87 counties. So it's pretty much all throughout the state at this point. And without some sort of intervention, it potentially will kill all of the ash trees in this state. Mm. Yeah, taking over. So what kind of options are there for protecting these trees then? Yeah, there are insecticides that are very effective, 99% effective in keeping uh, these trees alive. This one right here has had five of them. You have to do them every other year and they cost about $200 per treatment. So you can see that starts to get pretty expensive. And when you're talking about a billion trees in the forests, in the woods, especially where there are a ton of them, it's pretty cost prohibitive, not really something you can do. Yeah, so we have a lot of trees, a lot of money, and that is where the wasps come in, right? Should we be concerned, though, that the state is releasing them <laughs> in parks and walking trails? Yeah, that's kind of my first thought. Whoa, what are you talking about, wasps? But these actually are not the same kind of wasps that we usually think about buzzing around and being really nasty with their stinging. Yes, they are the size of a gnat, smaller than a mosquito. They do not have a stinger. Um, if you actually can find one, they have a thing that looks like a stinger and it's an ovipositor and that's what they lay their eggs with. And so the idea really is that these wasps and their larvae will eat all of the EABs, the emerald ash borers and their larvae, their eggs, and maybe neutralize them long enough for these trees to maybe develop their own defense system or at least keep them around for several decades more before the EABs destroy them all. Okay, wait, Corin. Uh, Cody has a question. He was wondering if we know why this wasn't used years ago, perhaps, by any chance. Yeah, I mean, they have rolled it out slowly. They now have done this in 55 different locations. Chisago County, just the most recent. Um, and it's a USDA program, so it comes from the federal government, so they have to dole it out, but they dole it out just on summers and just a few times uh, over the last few years. So. <sighs> They have tested it. It has worked out in other places. It's not a guarantee, though, and it's not great on a small scale either. They don't know really how effective it'll be, you know, all over the place. But when you're talking about a big scale in forests or trees, it's pretty much the best option they have. Man, learn something new every day. Smaller than a mosquito. Okay. Thank you, Cord. We appreciate it.